Hi everybody, it's Brett here from Metropole. Well, what information do you analyse when you decide to invest your hard-earned money in an investment property? I know firsthand just how much information and data there is out there to try and get your head around. It can all lead to a serious case of analysis paralysis. Adding to that, you'll soon find that everyone's a property expert and can help you find the best property. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you two vital pieces of information that's going to help you and assist you along your journey. The first one is the process that we use as property professionals when assessing an opportunity. The second thing is something that it's highly unlikely you will ever acquire, no matter how good an investor you become. You see, it does not matter how much data you crunch or how many numbers you analyze, you may never gain an expert level of perspective, that on the ground perspective. Analyzing and assessing an opportunity can be a balance of science versus art. When we're looking at science, we're looking at long-term fundamentals as opposed to short-term data that can change from week to week. We're not looking at auction clearance rates, we're not looking at vacancy rates or, or rental returns and things like that, because that can change. We're looking for long-term fundamentals. So what I did is I took a case study with two separate properties. Go back about two or three years, we had a client with a budget in Brisbane of just over 600,000, and I was assessing two different opportunities. And let's use the science versus arch approach, because when we took the scientific approach, we're looking for the location. It's incredibly important to get the location right because we can't change that. And we believe it does 80% of the heavy lifting. So when we're analyzing these two properties, one was in Clayfield, about six kilometers from the Brisbane CBD, and the other was in Mansfield, about 10 kilometers from the CBD. And most things are equal. When we looked at the income growth, we looked at the location, the supply and demand, the walkability, the owner occupier percentages, all that big fundamental data, it certainly leaned more towards Clayfield. Both properties, were presenting the same, they looked the same, they were gonna rent for the same amount, and they were advertised for the same price. So naturally, if you put your scientific hat on, you're going to lead to the area or the location or the property that's closer to the CBD, closer to our employment hubs, and has more of the statistics working in their favor. And that's what most buyers agents do. Most buyers agents look at the big term approach. They don't actually look at the on the ground perspective. So that's the last 20%. What we wanna make up is, what type of property and what is happening on at ground level. Because clearly we would have gone for the Clayfield opportunity. However, having that on the ground perspective, having that balance of art and knowing that perspective, something I have achieved through you know decades of investing in property and years and years and years of investing in the same location. I'd ruled the Clayfield property out straight away because I knew it flooded. I knew it was in an area where there was a lot of apartments and townhouses being built. You don't wanna wake up one day and have 100 apartments behind you. I also knew that it was very, very close to a major highway and it had a lot of noise, but you wouldn't have understood that unless you had inspected the property and had that decade of experience within that type of market. So it's incredibly important to understand that because we had ruled that Clayfield property out straight away. The other side of things is Mansfield had an amazing state catchment. This was in a golden, golden triangle between the, the high school and the primary school, it was right in the school zones there and had a huge level of demand and was also fairly unique. It was a quiet tree-lined street. So it's really, really important that you understand the on-the-ground perspective. That can take years to get. A lot of buyers agents who are accountants and lawyers two weeks ago, they don't have that expertise and that on-the-ground perspective. They can crunch numbers all day long, but if you don't have that on-the-ground perspective, it's going to cost you substantially over the long run. Thanks for watching.